Alright. Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Banjo Tooie with me and Flicky. And here we go! And, uh, yeah, we're doing another puzzle. Another Jiggy Wiggy challenge. Yay. More puzzles. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I remember what Ted said about when you get later in the game, you have to watch because sometimes even the background of the puzzles are a bit dark and it makes it awkward to see what's what. You know, even if the where the puzzle pieces have got not too bad symbols, but because of the backgrounds getting darker and darker because of the you know atmosphere right. of the level itself. Like this has got a major grimy atmosphere. This game has got more dark. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Not literally dark. Alright, got it. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 6. Now the Great Phone will show you the way. <clears throat> this is where the game gets really complicated. I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Runty Industries takes me more than two hours to beat. Well, I'm not doing community garden tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, we're going to be spending a lot of time on this. Yeah. The quagmire. Giggity giggity. Hey, what do you know? If, if John happens to be on Bloomin' Skype at all, we'll just drag him into the call if necessary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And if you ask why, just say it's my fault, my idea, because it was. <laughs> Crunchy Industries. Alright. You are indeed the chosen one. You also have enough Jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 7. Yeah, why not? Might as well. Yeah. There's one thing that's infamous in this seventh stage, and I'm not going to say what it is, but players of this game will probably know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. This is as far as that. I got up to Ted actually doing that part in terms of watching it. Oh, that was about, I don't remember anything else. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to refresh your memory once we get here. Yeah, this is definitely going to be the last video for the night because my battery is about to run out. The uh, headset, but it should be oh, long. It should be long. It should be long enough to run out. Alright, fifty-two well, seconds. Come to it. Plug in. It's ten here, which would make it about five to you. Just after five o'clock to you. Yes. Trying to work at the uh, time zone between Scotland and Massachusetts. Right. <laughs> Behold the power of the mighty Jimmy Wiggy. Cliff top. Hellfire Peaks, I believe it's called. Just burst right through. Indeed, the chosen one, you also have enough jiggies to attempt Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 8. Do you want to risk it? Yeah, sure, why not? It needs 45, but you just have enough. 46. Oh, there's a piece 
Um, I think it was just below your hand. There's one that possibly the bottom left because it, it had a musical note flashing on it. And uh, and I watched when the picture had it. Oh, I must be thinking of the wrong bit there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just better. Challenge number eight is finished. That's cool that in, like, for those two videos in which you've been doing the puzzles, you were able to do three at a time. Freaking hell! <laughs> in, the, in, the, in, the, in the vagina cave, and we are here. This is the last time. Uh... Yeah, Cloud Cuckoo Land. Bubble. Uh, this this must be the area I was thinking of when I mentioned about the Hellfire Peaks. I must have got them mixed up no. with each other. You do not have enough GGs to attempt Challenge 9. Come back later when you do. Now we're nine jiggy short of the. <laughs> <laughs> the irony. Oh no. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's, uh. Before we go to the next world, let's backtrack. There's some things that need to be finished off. Yep. Let's go pay Honeybee a visit. How many pieces of honeycomb can you get overall? No. Uh, you know, as in like left available for the game. Um, there is nine left. So there's three more, three areas left. There is nine. It's like the honeybee. I'm honeybee. I'll trade you extra honey units in return for empty honeycomb. You have enough honeycomb for one extra energy unit. Do you want to trade? Yes. I think that sounds better sort of voice. <laughs> sure, honey. Tell us your honeycombs over here then, Big Bear. Yes. Here's your extra honey. Sorry, extra energy. <laughs> yes. See, see, there's nine left. Like, yeah. Yep, I gotta do this, of course. So I don't forget. Now get out of here, you pervert! See, look at the way it jiggles, see? There you go. Skill physics! Yes. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Oh, she is Boys bouncing up and down. Boys and girls give it a thumbs up. Yeah, but she is bouncing up and down. <laughs> that's that's the whole, that's the, that's the physics. That's like, it's like trying to... The, the gravity is just like trying to drop an apple from our tree. Yeah. Alright, let's uh. There we go, I gotta go this way. There's a jiggy here that I can't get now since I learned the shoes. Learn the shoes? Don't you mean earn the shoes? Or whatever? Learned how to use the shoes? I learned to earn the shoes. Can you make it? Hey! Oh, so officially that finishes this area. Yep. Alright, so now we let's get out of here. It's great when you see more and more levels finished off. Hope you're not afraid of heights. 
Nope. <laughs> I think Banjo will be all set. Uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, shoot. Uh, what other levels do you have to finish off, if any? There's, there's the witchy world thing, but I have to get there anyways again for the food. And I don't have that move yet for the food. Plus, I have to go back to the to the wasteland for the pterodactyl land again because I don't have all of them. So I'll probably have. Or do you want to move on, try and get the move, and then backtrack, or you go to the stage, get the move, and then go back? Yeah, let's let's just go to let's just go to Witchy World. That train station. Uh, I wanna go on something up the skull. I was gonna say, which is the closest? If I remember correctly, then the, uh, the big one is in the train station. Yeah. yeah. Oops. Uh, well, let me, oh, well, I'm here, let me make sure that uh, Groggy is there. Yep, he's there. But I need to uh, get rid of Kazooie first. Where's the closest block, Pants? That's right behind the tent. Right here. Oh, where well, you learned to move? Well, that's under. Yep. <laughs> and since we have the taxi pads, If you can even call Splop Pants a move. A move. Oh yeah, I'm gonna learn how to move. Like, move your ass out of this fucking bank, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're gonna learn how we're gonna learn to move move Kazooie <laughs> elsewhere. Oh, oh. How the hell did I not get hit there? You always feel a close go. <laughs> it's always me. I get lucky at times. Oh. I gave you I gave you your hamburger, so come with me. Damn, he's heavy. I don't know how slow I am. <laughs> Come on, big guy. We can actually warp to the uh, to the front. Oh, oh. Watch out for the coins. I'm surprised you didn't take the train. Oh. Oh no, yeah, sorry, that's when you got to drop off to the mother, didn't you? Yep. What are the voice? Yeah. Damn, this like shakes. What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, bud. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better want your dinner. It was that strange bear, Mom. He made me eat this burger. <laughs> Enough of your lies! Parental <laughs> control, people. Look at the way he was. Waddles off as if he crapped them, so. And I, I ain't got a clue what she's saying about it just there because she's like 
Well, okay, she's so going home to Hellfire Peaks. There you go. <laughs> I'm too busy looking at her jigs so, you know, total jumping up and down like a moron. Look at, look at, look at, look at Badger's head. He's close Thanks again. Take the jiggy I found in the ticket office earlier. Look at the way she runs. She, she has like a her fucking son and all that, and here's her sort of stealing out the stuff from <laughs> what she wrote. <laughs> Poops jiggle, look at that. Some great jiggle physics. Alright. <laughs> oh look, watch what happens when you try to run off. Yeah, I know you get deep shit out of it. Or doesn't hey, stop it. You're not leaving me. You're not leaving this one about me. Oh, I can see. It's like, don't leave me. Of course, come here. Just beat you up. Move on to the pad. I'm on the pad. Damn you. Yeah, let's get out of here. Speeder. Alright, let's roll on out of here. Literally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I move. Back to the wasteland. <coughs> All right. Hey. Oh. 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 Damn it! Stop hitting me! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're oh, let me guess. We're going into something new. Quagmire. Giggity giggity. Wasn't that the name of a boss in Blum and Luigi's Mansion? I think it's Bogmire. Oh, Bogmire, sorry. That was close. Oh, uh, <laughs> fake one. Hey, look, I got it from one way over here. There's no more moves to be learned in this. Oh, it reminds me. Um, you guys have America's Got Talent, don't you? Yes. Well, we got Britain's Got Talent. And uh, there was one of the presenters, there was like some of the folks auditioning, was it like a basketball team? Or yeah. a bunch of friends made a basketball team and they were like doing various tricks and this, that and the other thing. And one of the presenters, he managed to catch one of the basketballs as it went off stage. And he's just, like, he's just, like literally the opposite end to where the basket is. And he's like, I'm wondering if I can make the shot from here. So he just like let go of the ball and it literally went flying over the stage straight into the basket. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, and he ran on the stage, you know, he's like, yeah. Yeah! You know, the judges are like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> if, if you look it up, look it up on YouTube at some point, Britain's Got Talent Basketball or something. Oh, well, Britain's I'll look it up. Got Talent 2016. You should be able to find it. I think it was Declan. <laughs> Declan Basketball or some sort of thing should help you find it. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Because <laughs> you know we made the basket, that was like an instant win. <laughs> Short up battery power? <laughs> Try looking here. Mother 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 Plan with this place, you can't even get in unless you use the train. Yeah, speaking of the train, I just, I just luckily found the switch. This is the only way into the complex, apparently. Yes, fortunately. Why the fuck should you do that way for other world, if I remember rightly, is why you came out with or something along those lines. Yeah. The, the best thing ever that a video game villain could do 
completely prevent you from entering the area you need to get to. That's her factor, she can do whatever she wants. Well, let me guess, toxic waste type pool. Yep. Oh, oh wait, actually, actually, actually there's a, um, one of those monsters, like the swamp monsters. It's in there. Yeah. Right, so my records, if any, are. Okay, so uh, my jump is done already here. Uh, I got a ginger from inside the waste disposal. That is it. <laughs> That's it. That is all I've done on Grunt Industries. That was the last thing I did in the game. Tracks. Like they went so, around in a circle and then went all the way up. Just went all the way up. Yeah, all I all I did in this level was collect one ginger, and that was it. That was it. That was it. Yeah, according to the checklist, that's all I that's all I did. That was the last thing I did in this game when I whenever I last played it. Oh. Was get a ginger from the waste disposal plant. And even then, I think it was one of those where you had to go from another area, but it counts towards this level. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Fake ginger. Fake ginger. Alright, so we have to go... Let's go to the... Uh, the top. Ah, right, because you have to go get the train, don't you? Yep. So you may as well go up the cliff top and get the thing there and then you it get you to watch your Nice dodge, by the way. You just completely ignored the enemy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you just went on your way, and the enemy completely missed you. Chuffy is viewing the cave paintings in Pterodactyl Land. Would you like, Ch like Chuffy to pick you up? Oh, I didn't even. Uh... I wonder what Chuffy says if, like, you're elsewhere and it's left at the Blumen Factory. Damn, I Chuffy's not... left in this shite hole. Get me out of here. Damn. You I say should... you want picked up. <laughs> I should have. I should have remembered it was there. I could have just went into a dark and like, just went there. I mean, it's, uh, yeah. The terrain is not that hard. So basically, just that one time here. Choo choo, motherfucker! I think was it. I think Elliot came out with that when they were doing the choo choo, motherfucker. Test, test, Thomas the very useful engine. <laughs> Let's go to Grunty Industries. I liked, I liked uh, the pictures of Lucas. Mm. I like the Lucas cosplay uh, pictures. Ah, oh, that Lewis did, yeah. Yes. I think that's the first time ever we've actually seen Lewis in person. Even though he's cosplaying as another cat as a character from a game. I think that's the first time ever we've seen him in person. Oh, <laughs> that was that was that was I like the I like the uh, the outfits. They look really nice. And one of his friends dressed up as e was it dressed up as Umbreon or something. <laughs> Oh, he's like, he caught him. Yeah. I got the spare ticket, you coming with me? I suppose, uh, good, here, have an Umbreon you, costume. You, you, you got to wear this. I've got a there, so... Hey, look over here, it's, it's fragile. Oh, there's a honeycomb. Get on the How do I do that? Or do I push this? Oh, there's a shock pad. <laughs> I thought I thought you got on top of it. I was gonna say it probably have springy shoes or something in it. <laughs> Oh, 
Are you going to try and open the main door with both them, or do you need to sort out some settings or anything? You know, stuff in the factory first. I have to do some stuff in the factory. There's a camera there that destroyed. Uh, I vaguely remember he says about that. You get caught by the cameras and basically security goes mental. Yeah. Yep, it does reappear. That's right. So you gotta watch yourself. Oh, oh there's a pig. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Ah, oh. uh, there's the waste disposal plant. That's the area where I got the one, the one and only ginger I got. The one and only thing that I did in this fucking level. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's a bounce here. Sweet. Oh, the fire rings it. And there's a switch there. Can you get through there or no? No. It's a glass. Pretty good uh, bloody glass, because I thought it was maybe an entrance way. <laughs> Access the line of service elevator can be used by mechanical personnel only. Hint, hint. Oh, yeah. Workers' quarters. Again, you may need the uh, mechanical personnel in this case. Remember, there is a camera here somewhere. Where the hell are you? Yeah, there's that poster again that you said about before with the bottles house. Oh yeah, you're right. I want that poster. There's, there's men and ladies' toilets. <laughs> Where is that camera? Oh, it's over here. Uh-huh. Wonder what happens when you go in the toilets. Benji Tui uh, thing there. Oh my god. In the bathroom. Room. Oh, bed. Who the hell wants to sleep in this building? Jeez. Yeah, then. Oh yeah, I can't get close to that. Hey, it's Logo! In the bathroom! Logo, what are you doing here? Oh, Rotti ripped me from her, her mansion and stuck me in here. Boy, you should see the mess some of these workers made. I don't even want to know. Anyway, someone thought it was funny to fill me up full of paper. I really need some <laughs> Someone cleaning it home. We do, actually. <laughs> get some more toilet paper. That's how you're going to get yours. I think this is what you're saying, movement in the bowels. That's what we used to do. I like to cook the stuff in case you can have it. Hey, I got five. So I have enough for the, uh, for the foolproof. Do you want to go and get it? Because it might come in handy. Actually, yeah, I do. But there's one more thing I want to do in here. Well, a couple things I want to do here before I leave. <laughs> Oh, hey, mister. Look at the state of my overall. I'll be in real trouble if I can't find my way getting them clean. That's the trash compactor. What is this? Air conditioning plant? No, I don't need to go in there. Are they trying to be like ninjas or something? I mean, the sound effects they make <laughs> is like they're trying to do some sort of kung fu or something. <laughs> this is the move I wanted to learn. 
Yes. Tighten these boots and no more falls as they let you walk out walls. Let me tell you how it's done. Kazooie's footprints up your run. Oh, cool. I like oh, seeing this. Dismissed. Yeah, so now we have these all the shoes. These are some suction pads on them. Um, you get some weird, uh, I think they recycle one of the other tunes for it, but still, it's awesome seeing it. Now we can walk up walls. Now we have all the shoes. I just need to unlock the main entrance. Yeah, make it a lot easier for getting in and out. Yep. Make it a lot easier to go in and out. I was trying to just generalize what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I called you there. Yeah, I thought, you know, I'm like thinking, going, is he gonna catch on to that or are we just gonna move on? <laughs> I had to quickly get you there. I did the same thing with my mom. <laughs> She's she like, she calls me nasty and all this. <laughs> I don't care. It's just me. It's like, I don't be gross. <laughs> oh, she has a lot of fat dog. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I, I love that. Man. I love the music though for this. It's like they use the trainer noise, but it's like higher pitched. Right. No, oh, it's actually lower pitched. Is it lower pitched? Yeah. Still running shoes regardless. Um, I don't want to do that yet. Um. Trying to remember. Try not to break control, because that's what it sounds like you're doing. Uh. No. Hang on, I just gotta. I might, maybe I'll just. Well, I'll just stick around here. Oh, no. Are you sure? No. There's the. Uh, because even if I backtrack, I still gotta go back to that certain uh, level. Oh, uh, this is the second floor? Oh, I thought there was something there. It was just this big. <laughs> but there is something here, if I remember. What about trying to find that move for banjo? Or move for banjo? Is that Wombas Wog one with techno? Yes. Cool. It's, a, it's made out of metal. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You bloody own that thing, like. <laughs> there you are. Is there anything in here? No. Should be something in that. Don't recall. Mm. I know for a fact we need to uh, collect some batteries. Mm. Over there. Oh yeah, this is this is the place that has the camera. Right here. Okay, so let's start here and collect some stuff. No, I don't want the I don't want the shoes.
That's to get one up the top, I believe it's a sheet of paper or something. And yes, you have to use a claw clamber, but it's to get up there. Oh, it's ginger. Oh, that's what I'm... Yeah, it needs to split up. Yeah, Banjo oh. press the button and Kazooie has to run up there. Find him in the split pads or the... Split up has a, uh, no, actually, no, there is a... No, that's one of the bunnies. Oh! Damn it. Yeah, right. No, there's no way around that. Oh, no, don't step on the swamp. Jeez. Oh, let me just climb up there anyways. Hmm. I think there's some of those pages you can actually, I mean pages, windows that you can actually smash. I believe so. I'm sure Ted smashed some windows or doors or something. There's like one, I think it's one side has two and the other sides have one each. I don't think I can do anything anymore here. Somehow I need to split up with Banjo and Zoe to uh, get that Jinjo. Go into my email, though she published a video at 5.13 my time. Right. I need, to, I need to do a lot of research on this world because this really gave me trouble a long time mm. ago. Even with the book, it's just a pain in the ass. I can't get... Let's just step out a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's oh. go over here. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Um, let's uh, warp oh. to oh. the main entrance. You know what? This is where we're gonna stop because uh, I'm gonna get lost big time in this world. I'm gonna do my research. And see how this level of this world is done, and what needs to be done first, and you know, in order. Mm. We could always check at Ted's videos if it helps. Yeah, I'll, I'll check his videos out. But They're the on his main XN Shadow channel. Alright. In the meantime, we're gonna stop, and uh, next time on Let's Play Bandit 2, we go through uh, Grunty Industri Industries, and hopefully we can uh, work it out. So, this has been Nate yep. and Flicky. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.